Tools on the left hand of the screen. Moving on to the tools on the left hand side of your screen. Profile. With the profile tool, you'll be able to insert a multitude of information. We recommend you put in your information here, such as a profile picture of yourself by selecting a local file from your computer, or contact information such as your email address, your mobile number, and work number should you wish. You can also insert your student information, such as the course that you are studying and the modules you are studying. Calendar. The calendar tool will be a more in-depth tool when compared to the calendar section on your overview page. Using a series of legends which can be found at the bottom of the page, you'll get an in-depth look at types of events happening on certain days, whether they be assignments, forums, or a test that is due, or merely when an announcement was posted. Resources. Should you wish to upload any important data related to your studies, you can upload and store it here. Think of the resource folder as a place where you can store your assignments that you're busy with so that you can have access to them all the time if you need them. To upload a file, simply click on the Actions button, then click on the Upload Files option. Announcements. You should see all the announcements from all of your modules here. You can simply click on the announcement you wish to view and it will immediately take you to the announcements of that particular site. Worksite Setup. Under your Worksite Setup, you'll be able to see all the modules of your semesters you have studied over the years. You'll be able to filter and search your modules according to the year, semester, or term. Preferences. Under your Preferences tool, one can customize a notification for various types of notifications. You can choose to switch off notifications or selected types of notifications. Under the Sites tab, you can hide sites from previous semesters by ticking the box under the appropriate section. Account. Please change your password as soon as possible after you've logged into Funda. You can do this by clicking on the Modify Details. You can enter a new password and then click Update Details.